Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Chef Girl RD. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make these cheese stuffed shells and we're gonna be making them right in the Ninja Foodi XL Pro Air Oven. All right, so to get started, the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is boil some water for your shells. Now you can definitely cook their shells in a Ninja Foodi if you want, but for me today, I'm gonna to be using my Ninja Foodi Never Stick stock pot and we're gonna do it right on the stove. Now for my pasta, I'm just using these jumbo shells, uh, any box will do that you prefer. And my sauce, I'm using a Barilla marinara. All right, so for my cheese mixture, uh, my filling, I'm gonna be using a combination of ricotta cheese. I've got a uh, Italian style medley of cheese. This is just a few different types of cheeses all combined. You can use whatever kind you want. I'm also going to be adding a half a cup of some grated Parmesan cheese and I've got one egg here. All right, so now that my water's boiling, I'm going to slowly pour in my shells. And I'm just going to let those cook. I will stir occasionally for about 12 minutes. Now into a medium sized mixing bowl, I'm going to take my ricotta. I'm gonna use about 15 ounces. I couldn't get a small container. I ended up having to buy a large one. So I'm just gonna take half of this. So that's about 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. Now I'm just going to add in my cup and a half of my uh, Italian style cheese medley and my half a cup of grated Parmesan. I'm going to add a teaspoon of some garlic powder and I'm also going to add a tablespoon of some Italian seasoning. And now I'm just going to pour in my beaten egg. Now we're just gonna mix that up really well. And when you're done, you should end up with a nice thick mixture like this. It smells really good. All right, all right, so I lowered my heat. It's been 12 minutes and my shells look pretty good. Now you wanna take a look at these and make sure they're cooked to your liking, but I do recommend you go a little al dente because we're still gonna be baking these and you don't wanna overcook the shells. So now we're just gonna go ahead and strain our shells. run some cold water over them. And that's really just enough to cool them down a bit so we can handle them and it stops the cooking. So I'm just gonna put that right on top of my pot. And now for this part, you can do a couple different ways. You can either layer them right in this pan that comes with your uh, ninja foodie oven you can also use a casserole dish if you have one that would fit in the oven uh, i do know that ninja sells a casserole dish that's exclusively able to fit in the ninja foodie oven so you could get one of those from the website um, or you could just do what i'm doing and i'm going to be using this little foil tin super easy cheap and i don't have the casserole dish that ninja puts out to fit in the oven as of yet. So this is what I'm gonna be using. So now I'm just gonna take my marinara and I'm gonna pour out about a half a cup. All right, I added another half a cup. So that was about a cup total. I mean, this is optional. You put as much as you want. And now comes the fun part. I've got my shells and my filling and my P90 
pan ready to go. So I did put a glove on because it can get messy. So I'm just gonna take my shell, open it up a little, try to hold it open. But you wanna go easy so you don't break them. But if you do, it's not the end of the world. And we're just gonna push that filling in. Use whatever size spoon you're comfortable with. And you can put as much or as little as you want. So I like to just kind of level them out, not over stuff, not under stuff. I do, however, like to just flatten the top a little, just because we're going to add that extra cheese on top and sauce afterward. And we're just going to do it again. and so on. So we're just gonna keep going, filling our tray with as much or as little as you want. All right, so far we're looking good. So I was able to fill 12 shells, uh, fully fill them with no mixture left over. I do, however, have some shells left over. So if you're a larger family and you want to make two trays of these stuffed shells, you certainly can. I would just double up on the cheese mixture. Another thing I like to do is make a meat sauce as well. So you could also make 12 stuffed shells using a meat sauce. I mean, honestly, it's all preference to how you like it. Meat, no meat, you could switch up the cheese, you can use ricotta, you can use cottage. I mean, make it how you like it. So getting back to our shells, now we're gonna take some remaining sauce left over and you just wanna spoon some sauce onto each shell. Again, this is as much or as little as you like. All right, something like that. These are looking really good, but we're gonna stop here. Before we add the cheese, we're gonna head over to our Ninja Foodi oven. And from here, we're gonna set to a bake for 25 minutes on 375. We're gonna hit start. And five of those minutes, I'm gonna let preheat with nothing in it. All right, so now back to the shells. We're gonna take our remaining cheese. And we're just gonna give a little sprinkle on each one. Again, as much or as little as you like. And so on. And this is what we got. So the very last thing I'm gonna do, and this is entirely optional to you, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of parsley on each one. Just make it look pretty. All right. Now, before we pop this in the oven, I'm just going to cover it with some foil. So I did use some toothpicks on each corner just because I don't have the nonstick uh, aluminum foil. And I don't want my cheese to stick. So I'm just gonna crunch it onto the sides, nothing crazy. Just a little something like that. All right, we're at 20 minutes, so I'm gonna open that up. And you know, I didn't even notice before, but we're gonna use rack three, um, level three. So I'm just gonna move this rack up one. And now we'll pop that right in. Shut 
shut that and we're gonna let that cook for about 15 minutes and then we will um, check it at 15. All right, we're at five minutes remaining. So it's been cooking for 15 minutes. And we're just gonna take a peek. See how this looks. Good. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wrap this back up. Push this back in. I'm gonna let them finish the remaining five minutes and then I'm gonna set a new timer with the foil off. All right, so that's finished. Take this out for a second. Take off that foil. And I'm just gonna take out my little toothpicks that I had put in. I don't wanna forget about those. Pop her back in, shut it, and let's do, we're going to stick with the 375 on the bake, but obviously we're going to change the time. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to leave it, but we're going to stick with eight for now, and we're just going to keep an eye on them. All right. I've been keeping an eye on these and I think eight minutes was perfect. So if you like them a little more well done, you could keep going, but some of the edges I see a little crispness too. So I think that's perfect for me. So I'm just gonna take them out. Set them down. What do you guys think? They look good. Hmm. All right, let's take a couple of these guys out. See what we got. Yum. All right, so here they are. Take a bite. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth. I'm notorious for that. Right, let's see what we got. Doesn't that look good? Yum. Holy creamy. Are these good or what? Guys, these are delicious. These are super easy to make and they taste amazing. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that like button and be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. Bon appetit, guys.